these are some purple sweet potatoes that I bought at a um um it was a, a garden sale um last September. I kept them for a while and then I start about December I start putting them in water inside. You know, I run two pieces of stick through them, one each, and then um put them in a container plastic, you know, this is just a little plastic container that you get soup in at a Chinese store and I bought I mean I just use that. Run the stick through them and put them on top of this container and you have water at the bottom. And this goes for any sweet potato. You can grow sweet potato indoors like this until when the weather change and you can want to put them outside. I was looking for them, these sweet potatoes, these purple sweet potatoes, because of a, 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 a show I saw on Netflix. Uh, it's called Live to 100. And they claim that people in Okinawa, Japan, has been eating these sweet potatoes and most of them live to 190 odd and so on, you know. Um, now, who knows if that is the reason why. Maybe there's other things that they eat that help them. They did it about Japan and they did one about Italy uh, with another food. I forgot what that was. But anyway, these, you know, you set them in water and see they start springing like that, these little... And they're so pretty. I love them. They look like flowers. And they spring up. And they start putting out roots before they, they spring. You'll see roots before you see any springing. And then they spring up and then you can break off these little little pieces that spring up. Uh, we call them slip, potato slips. That's what my father used to call them. So you break off the potato slips and you put them, you stick it back in water. When you break the stick off, when you break each piece off, it doesn't have any root. But once you stick them in water, you could put them in the same container. I, it was so much of them, I had to use another container. So you break the slip off and you stick them in water and it start growing roots. And these are your potato slips that you can plant outdoors once the weather changes. Or, you know, you might, not have, you might have warm weather. There, there's the root. They, they put on root in days. In days, you'll see these little roots. And that is what you can plant. So, you know, why not? I mean, it can't hurt whether or not you will live to be 100 or I will live to be 100. We don't know. But anything that can make life, make you live longer, at least try, you know. So, so um, hopefully um, this can um, help you to make your life better. So I'm planning on planting these outdoors once the weather change. Of course, the weather is nice today. Uh, we are in the 70s, and I heard even in New York, it's 70s today. <laughs> of course, you know, I'm in Georgia. So, I'm a New Yorker living in Georgia. That's what I am. <laughs> That's what I think of myself as. But I enjoy the, the weather, you know, when it changes. And, of course, the, the peppers are growing. I'm going to do a... I did a video already showing you what they look like now. And I love pepper plants for sale. Come, um... Uh, next late next month late april to to me i love pepper scotch bonnet pepper plants it's just scotch bonnet that i'm planting this year don't forget to check the links below um i put my etsy store link there also my amazon influencer um, link you can go there and buy some of the plants and not necessarily plants but some of the supplies that I use on my my plants and peppers all right check that out I'll put the links below thanks